Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Cinema 4D to make this really cool fractured text. And you can see it does bring off a pretty cool effect. And uh, I like to, use, I don't use it too often nowadays, but it is really cool to use them in banners and all that kind of stuff. So you guys can incorporate it into your designs. And uh, th there is literally no limits to how you can edit this text because you can literally manage each individual fracture if you wanted to. And it will look different every time you use it and it will look really nice as well. But um, for this tutorial, we're going to be using a Lightroom from a rated 40,000 uh, 40, subscriber pack. Uh, both these links will be in the description. Uh, so yeah, you can go into the description and you can find, um, I don't know, I'm not too sure what part it is. But uh, yeah, you can you can download uh, this Lightroom for Cinema 4D in his pack. And uh, you'll need this plugin called Therousey. And uh, it's free to download, it's really easy to install. All you need to do is download it and then put the folder in your Cinema 4D application folder. It's the same whether you're on Mac or Windows. It's really easy, but even if, if, you, if you don't know how to do that, there are tutorials on how to install that as well. And okay, and once we've done that, uh, we can just open up Cinema 4D and then you'll see you have Therousey down here and you have these four things right here. Uh, I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do with those uh, once we get started. So when you first open Rated's pack, you will have this text going across the side, and you can just delete that. You can use the his preset text if you want, but I'm gonna start it from scratch. All right. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to MoGraph and then Mo Text, and what this is literally just brings up your text. This is how you make text in uh, Cinema 4D, unless you wanna go to uh, your text spline and then make it 3D and all that. But yeah, this is the easy way of just making 3D text in Cinema 4D. And um, now that we've done that, I'm just gonna type in our text into the text tool on the side. So just type in tutorial, just like that. Okay, we're gonna make that centered. And then we're gonna change the depth to about 60. So the depth is how, how 3D it is. So you can see, it's basically this. You can I can just show you. Uh, yeah, you can just see just by me doing that. Uh, so about 60 will be good, it'll be perfect. And um, the font, we want to make it a bold font. Well, it doesn't have to be, but I, I feel that bold, bold fonts work well. So fonts like Unisans, uh, they work well. But I'm going to be using one called uh, Typography. It's a really popular font, so you, you might actually have it already. So let me just try and find it. There we go, Typography Pro. And there we go, you can see we have it right here. And if it's too big, you can see it fills up too much of the space. You can just use this icon in the top left and just drag down. And there you go, you can see it comes back where we want it to be. And now, uh, once we've clicked on our MoText again, uh, we can go to Caps, and then press, where it says Start and End, we're gonna change these both to Fillet Cap. And what, what that basically does is, you can see these little ridges on the um, on the corner, so like if we can change the radius, and then, oh, maybe that was a bit too much. Uh, you can see the, the, the more we make the radius, then the more ridge there is. So we want it to be about two, I think two work good. So um, yeah, we're just gonna, get it back to center again, just like that, okay. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make our radius two for the fillet cap on the start and for the end. So there we go. And there we go, we have our text. It is not fractured, as you can obviously tell. And uh, we've just got ordinary white text without any color or anything. And uh, you can see the nice ridge effect, and yeah, it all looks really cool at the moment. So now with Rated's Pack, you will have all these materials down the side. You can make your own just by double cl uh, double clicking on the on the blank space and you can see that you'll have this, you can change the color and all that like that. But um, I'm gonna be using Rated's gradient uh, materials. So these all have a gradient on them and they look really, really nice. So uh, you could go with an orange, I suppose, but uh, I think, well, all, the, all of these will look really nice. But we're gonna go for the one I use in the example, which is this one. But if you want to use, if you only want one color on your um, text for when you fracture it, you need to add it twice. Just because um, it will, for for the pieces on the inside will be the I think it's the first one will be the colors on the inside and then the second one you add will be the colors on the outside. You'll see what I mean when I actually fracture the text. But if you did want the fracture to have two different colors, you can just add two different colors. And uh, yeah, so now we've got our text and we have our material, well, our uh, color, our color to it. Now we want to do now what we want to do is we want to select our mo text, then go to plugins, then Therousey, and then just the regular Therousey. Uh, we're not going to be using the other three in this tutorial. And there you go, we have this pop-up window. And we're at, the only thing that we're actually going to be changing is where it has pieces. And uh, you, and each piece, it, well, the num this number is basically how many pieces you want to break each letter into. So if I wanted the, the T to break into like three pieces, then it would break into three pieces. But I could have a hundred pieces, so it would literally like be like an explosion in the text. But then that can take a long time to render. 
and uh, yeah, but um, so we're just gonna, I think about, about three pieces will be fine. And then you just to press break now, and you can see it just breaks all the pieces, it looks really cool. And um, and you can see that nothing's actually changed, but well, if you go over it, you can see all the little pieces. And um, and then you have, this will be your layers. And you just wanna click on all of these little X's and make them into ticks. So you can just click and drag down, and, um, and yeah, that will change them into ticks. And now what we want to do is while we got all of these all of these layers selected, you want to go to Monograph, Effect Art, and then Random. And now you can see it it breaks all the pieces up and moves them around, but it doesn't look too good right now. So um, now once we've got a, a random added, we can just change the strength by using this. Just, yeah, they're basically how much you want the the text to be affected. But we're just gonna leave it at hundred for now. And you can, now we can change the position, the scale, and the rotation. Um, I don't really tend to change the position that much just because I find that it can it can be quite hard to read the text if you change the position too much but what I like to do is I like to change the rotation and the scale so now once we tick these boxes you have all these uh, three you have three boxes for each pop up and you just want to play around with them like just drag up on the on each one and see that and get the angles that you want so you can see that each box has like whether it rotates left to right or up and down and uh, yeah, so like I said, you don't want to fragment it too much because you do still want to be able to read it. And okay, so we got that rotation good. And now we can just change the um, the scale a little. Okay, the, like I said, you don't want to make it too different. I mean, you don't want to modify the text too much, otherwise it can be really hard to read. And uh, now we'll have press the render button. We can see that it is all fractured and it looks really, really cool. And uh, yeah, but... Um, but what I like to do is I kind of like to move all of the the letters closer together, just so they're kind of in one more in like in one piece, if that makes sense. So um yeah, so you can see the O and the R there. I'm not gonna wait for the whole text to render, but you can see the O and the R there. They've um they've fractured nicely, and you can see that each one of these layers is one one letter. So if we wanted to, we'd probably start with the 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 left and then move along to the right. So I'm just going to click on the second letter, move it a bit closer to the next one and just keep moving them across just like that. Just to make it all a lot like more compact. I think it looks a lot better if you compact it. And okay, we'll just move these. You can make them go into each other a little bit and uh, yeah, that looks good. And then just move this last one over and okay, and we want to center it so just select all of them and then just move them like that. You could also rotate rotate in each individual letter just by pressing this rotation tool and then you can just uh, like rotate the letter just like that. But I probably wouldn't do it too much. And okay, and then we go back to our move tool and then we'll see how this looks. So we'll, we'll press render and um, yeah, we'll see how this looks. It should look really nice. Like I said, you should guys all should all rec um, you guys should all experiment with all these different materials. There's loads here. And I accidentally just stopped the render. Uh, yeah, there's loads of materials to mess around with. There's loads of possibilities you can end up with um, with using this 3D technique. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to wait for the whole thing to render because I'll just cut to the end where I'll literally just have the text rendered. But um, to render this text, all you need to do is you just click on this render uh, icon up here. And then make sure the output and the, wi uh, the width and the height are 1920 by 1080. This should all be by default. Um, just because that is the way he rated saved his Lightroom and uh, make sure alpha channel is clicked because if you don't have an alpha channel then it will render with a white background I mean with a black background and if we had a alpha channel checked then it will have a transparent background which is what we want and the only thing that we only really need to change is this file output so we can just press on those three dots select where you want it to be so I'll just put tutorial text and just save it to my desktop just like that press save this should be PNG everything should be normal for you guys and then you just press this icon in the middle just like that and just press OK and there we go you can see that it actually just starts rendering and uh, I don't know why but I just kind of like to watch the, the rendering process just to see like all these little squares render but uh, yeah so the out the final outcome will be in it at the end of the video uh, so yeah thank you guys for watching this tutorial I uh, appreciate you guys all tuning in don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.